I want you to stop for a moment and imagine that this food has been placed in front of you. You crave it, but you can't eat it. In fact, if you want to have this at all, it's best that you puree it in a blender first. This is the reality for as many as 70% of head and neck cancer patients who have had to trade in their ability to swallow safely for their survival. Patients who now associate food with a fear of choking or lung infection, as opposed to something that brings us joy. Now, there are effective therapies out there for someone in this situation, and these involve rebuilding the strength and the stamina of these swallowing muscles that have been cut and irradiated during cancer treatment. But limited resources have created the situation where patients have to wait for therapy. And when they are seen, it's rarely with the intensity and the frequency needed to make those lasting changes. That's why I started this doctoral program. I work with biomedical engineers, designers, programmers, but also with patients and clinicians. Together, we are developing the mobile health device for home swallowing therapy. The easiest way to describe this to you is to tell you that it's kind of like a Fitbit, but for your swallow. It contains three sensors that can detect how hard your muscles are working and for how long. This is called biofeedback, and patients can see this information on their smartphone app. It allows them to learn how to do the exercise correctly, but also when to exert more effort. And at the end of the day, their practice data is sent to their clinician. Now, I've contributed several studies that have assisted with the development of this device. For instance, for the hardware, I have had to ensure that we are using the appropriate sensor technology. The software design was informed by interviews with patients and clinicians. And the next steps for us will be to assess how well patients can use this device at home on their own, but also how much their swallow has improved as a result. Now, I want you to imagine the potential of such a device. The potential of being able to provide swallowing therapy to all those who need it. The potential of allowing a patient to swallow just as well as they did before their cancer. And the potential to ultimately change how you feel when that plate is placed in front of you. Because think about it. If you've just beaten cancer, food is the last thing that should scare you. Thank you.